morning folks we are back on trail day three day three is going to be our shortest day so we're probably going to hike around six or seven miles and our big obstacle today is trail rider pass looks like trail rider pass tops out at around almost 12,400 um, luckily we we're only two miles from the top from where we camped uh, so that makes it a little uh, easier I put in quotes <laughs> but there's a storm that's predicted that's supposed to come in later this morning so we got out of camp pretty early we woke up between 4 30 and 5 got out of camp at 6 uh, threw down some power bars <laughs> to kind of fuel us on the way up and we just want to get over that pass before any storms uh, come so we got an early start <laughs> on the trail and uh, it's beautiful even with the overcast skies you know it's snowmass lake and it is a beautiful morning so uh, we will see you on the trail <laughs> Oh, wow. So you can see where we camped. So this is Snowmass Lake. We are tucked back in that corner right there. So we've gone only about three tenths of a mile, probably gained 300 feet already, but uh, it's a good way to, uh, to get warm. Trail Rider Pass. First good look. You know, it's always like when you come up these passes, it almost looks <laughs> impossible. Like there's a trail. You know, it's not always obvious from seeing where that trail is going. But there is a trail, and we will make it up. grouse and little grouse babies. Can you see them? There's one right here looking for his mom. On the trail. I don't think I've ever seen grouse babies before. There's one there. Oh, let me try to get up. This is the wildlife that Nancy likes to see. <laughs> the marmots, the picas, and the grouse. And the chipmunks too. And chipmunks. Don't worry, we're not gonna mess with your babies. Again, this is more wildlife that Nancy likes to see. She likes this because she knows she's not going to be attacked 
by the deer or the marmot. <laughs> Although I told her, marmots will eat the handles off of your trekking poles well, if you leave them. I'd rather them do that than eat me. And now we begin to climb a little bit. I think one of the reasons that this pass may be a little easier in my eyes is that I think it has these long, well graded switchbacks, which makes it a bit easier when you're going up rather than just going steep straight up. Almost there. Looks like the storms are holding off at least for this morning. My weather forecast said 9 a.m. That was 30%, so who knows? I've found that nobody can really predicts the weather that well up in the mountains. So that's why we wanted to get over this pass before any lightning for sure. It looks like we're gonna be good. Still overcast, but doesn't really show signs of storming. All right, decision for the morning. Are you the type of person who takes the longer route, but it'll take longer, but it's less steep, or the steep route and just knock it out? I think I'm gonna be the steep route. I mean, we're a mile and a half, two miles in, and I'm feeling pretty good this morning, so I'm ready to just bang this out get near that top. One final push up to the top. Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh wow. That is stunning. All right, let me catch my breath. Three days, three passes. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah. yeah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good to get to the top of a pass. Now that part, <laughs> that was steep, but it probably cut off, I don't know. The switchbacks were long. So I think if I were going down that, I would take the switchbacks. I don't like going down steep. Um, going up steep is a little bit easier for me. Whew! But that, ah, that was good. It's like eight o'clock in the morning at the top of a pass. It's all downhill from now. Whew, okay. Say goodbye to Snowmass Lake. Start heading down Trail Rider Pass. Yeah, looks like there's a trail. <laughs> Somebody climbs up there. Not us. Somebody climbs up there. Ain't gonna be us. So you can see the trail down there and then it kind of flattens out and then it really drops and turns around and we're gonna head way down where it drops in that valley and then we're gonna hook a left. That's where we are headed today. All right, it's getting to be a bit chilly up here. So uh, we're gonna head down. There's a small grove of trees down there. Get a little uh, shelter for some of this wind and have breakfast, have a proper breakfast. All right, we'll see you on the trail.
like we got over Trollrider Pass just in time. Got some low hanging clouds coming in. And that is why <laughs> we left camp early this morning. Because that is coming in our direction. But luckily it looks like it's only rain right now. I don't see any thunder. I don't hear any thunder. Don't see any lightning, but <laughs> no more light hitting the magical mountain uh, snow tops. It's now engulfed in clouds and rain. But we're heading down. Got some tree cover if we need it. Looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Um, that's what's coming our way. And pretty cool seeing the clouds kind of nestled into the mountains. But we're still heading down. And soon we'll be at the, uh, the valley floor. Whew, coming down. <laughs> Trail Rider Pass is brutal. I can only imagine going up that. It is steep coming down toes are hurting um so yeah i guess it just depends whether you want to struggle going down or you want to struggle going up but to me the south side of that trail rider pass whether you're going up or down that's the hardest as you can see i've got blue skies behind me i'm hoping it's going to clear out now and hopefully everything in our packs are dry um they should be but uh, yeah, we're finally down at the bottom. We're kind of in the, the, the meadow part and maybe a couple more miles to camp. All right, see you on the trail. The one thing that I've experienced on this backpacking loop that I never have on any other backpacking trip, except maybe for uh, the Teton Crest Trail and the loop I made out of it. But every mile of this loop, is scenic from beginning to end there's no there's no gaps in between there's no kind of dull you know things that you just mundanely uh, hike through every mile of this trail is is beautiful with mountain views or waterfalls or creeks or wildflowers i mean this loop has it all and it's, it's non-stop. It is non-stop every single day. And, I, and that's why I recommend, take your time. There's no reason to bust through this in, you know, two, even three days. You know, take your time and enjoy. <laughs> enjoy Four Pass Loop. So we decided to go ahead and just walk through that water crossing with our shoes. My shoes and socks were already soaking wet. And so they're not gonna get any wetter. So we decided just to plow right through. All right, we just finished up lunch uh, from the Great Waterfall. There's actually a lot of great campsites here, and we had considered that, but it's only 12, 1230. Um, and I know that there is a, a good one right at the top of the falls. Just hope it's not taken or we'll hike in another mile or two. But uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. All right, see you on the trail. Immediately coming up from that waterfall spot, whew, you go straight up. I think it's about half a mile, but it's switchbacks at least. But 
It is straight up. All right, great news. Just saw some hikers coming down and I asked them about that camp spot that I know sits at the top of the falls. And they said it's open. So, whew, unless somebody is coming from the other side, we should be good. Whew. Time to plow up these switchbacks. Here's the spot I was hoping for. This, we get that big climb out of the way for tomorrow morning. And we're right here on top of the creek that feeds into that waterfall. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah. Camp is set up for the most part. So I'm over here. It was threatening to rain, so I went ahead and just pitched my tarp. This is, uh, you know, Nancy's tent. Uh, beautiful. She is, this is her third day now, and she is, I think now, nailed it for getting it all set up, all on her own. And she is doing an absolute great job. We have a nice little fire pit over here. I don't know if we'll build a fire or not. Um, but what I like are the seats. <laughs> Love having rocks, good rocks for just uh, making dinner and everything. Uh, just letting some stuff dry out in the log. That was in the sun. <laughs> um, and then I think I showed you the creek as I first came up to the site. So easy access to water, beautiful sound of a creek. It's turned into a fabulous, fabulous day. Today was forecasted to be uh, lightning storms from like 9 a.m. to I think 6 or 7 p.m. And as you saw in the, in the morning, it was overcast, um, but we got over a trail rider pass, no problem. Uh, came down and that's when it started to rain and that wasn't too bad I mean, it rained uh, a little bit but uh, once we started making our way almost to the the, the valley floor there uh, that basin area the uh, the sun came out and then it just turned into spectacular day when we were having lunch so that was wonderful another romantic uh, dinner up here by uh, the creek um, I had another Chad Menendez meal called Bison Ranch Mashers. Pretty good. Uh, Nancy had chicken and dumplings, which was okay because she doesn't eat green peas, but she didn't eat a thing. Uh, but we tried. Uh, last night, you know, we did the brownies. Um, tonight, we did blueberry muffins, and we're going to give those a try. Mmm, don't those look delish? All right. Miss Nance, mm -hmm. you're yeah, gonna try it? All right. Try one here. Uh. Okay. Let's see how you did. Yeah. Yeah? Brownie or blueberry? I need the brownie. Yeah. But it's more of a dessert. <laughs> this is kind of sweet, but not really I mean, dessert. It's not one that I like buy in the store, but, <laughs> but huh? you gotta do what you gotta do. Fun little treat yeah. when backpacking, yeah. <laughs> when you don't have a store. I think that's gonna do it for day three. Um, it's been a beautiful day. We only hiked in around six and a half, seven miles. I think we have seven miles to go tomorrow. Um, but we hike over Frigidaire Pass and then back to West Maroon Trail, head, back to the truck. And then we'll be headed home. But tomorrow's gonna be another beautiful day in terms of just scenery, wildflowers. So um, it is going to be gorgeous. But I think that's gonna do it for today. And we will see you in the moment.